What's up, everybody? It's the Mama's Boys Podcast Show. Show. What's up? What's up? What's up? Pew 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 I'm sticking with it, man. I, yeah, stick with it. That's you now. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I know y'all y'all missed us last week, and oh, uh, man. and uh, y'all missed E for a couple weeks. But oh, um, yeah, we took a much needed break, man, so we can come back uh, re- rejuvenated. I guess that's the is that the right word? Rejuvenate, rejuvenated, rejuvenated. Yeah, rejuvenated. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, come back fresh, some new topics, new thoughts. Um, yeah, man, we excited, man. We back full effect. It's it's um. It's another another Mama's Boys podcast show with your boy Chris and E. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, yeah, man. What's what's going on with you, E? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. Uh, I had, I had a little little rough week though, man. I, Is that but, right? Had a, had a vacation. Yeah. So let me let me let me let me just. Yo, if y'all ain't never going on vacation, y'all need to go on vacation. Y'all need to get away. Yes, sir. Like y'all you know saying, you need to step away. And everything. So that's what the doctor ordered. That's what the doctor ordered, man. I remember, you know, growing up, my mom never took when she on her vacation, she stayed home to clean mm-hmm. and did stuff. It's like, man, go on a vacation, get away. Every time I got a vacation, I roll out. I create my vacation. So yeah, yeah, that's that's what's. I mean, my mental check, my mental, my mental check was like, I'm just, I'm, yo, you have to take care of you. you Got to take care of home. Got to take care of your mind. I went to Florida. Yeah. Went to Florida, Fort Lauderdale, awesome place, man. I really loved it. Ocean yeah. Drive, Avenue, Ocean Avenue, yeah, Ocean Avenue, yeah. whatever. Yeah, well, Fort Lauderdale's a uh, a great spot for um old people. No, it's not, man. <laughs> That's hot. No, all right, it's, 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 no, it's a not. good spot no, for not, for grandparents. I mean, no, you no, are no, you no. are a pop pop, so I understand no, why no, you went no, there. No, no, you know no. what I mean? No, no, <laughs> nah, I can't no, front because no. I, I went to Fort Lauderdale myself uh, a few years back. Hollywood. I mean, we visit. Hollywood. We didn't stay there. We went. We was in Miami, but we visit Fort Lauderdale. You went to the ratchet place. Okay. Yeah. Nah, I ain't go. Is uh. <laughs> no, no, I ain't that go to. I ain't go to the ratchet part of it was like on the outskirts of Miami. Like, no, no, no. What well, I'm saying, yo, people from there, they were like, they said like, my aunt, yo, this is not me talking. Yeah. The people from Florida talk. <laughs> they was like, Miami is the more ghetto fun. Yeah, I can Fort see that. Fort Lauderdale is the more clean family fun, but it's yeah. still a little wild. Mm-hmm. Hollywood is for retirees. That's all right. a bunch of old people when I was in Hollywood. And that's and that's, that's what they told. And I, I agree with that. That is a hundred percent accurate. I definitely ah, agree with that. Cause I have been to all three spots. I ain't go to Miami yet. Yeah, Miami. You ain't go to Miami yet? I ain't go to Miami. Yeah, I don't, I don't I mean, know. Yeah, it's, you got me. You gonna spend I was some with my money. son. I was yeah, with my son and I was like, I ain't going. Yeah, you're gonna spend some money, but you know, they're not that far from each other. It's like 30 40, minutes. Yeah. 30, yeah. 30 minute drive. 40 minutes. Yeah. 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 So could, I could have did it. I'm gonna go next time. Yeah, you could have took him to South Beach real quick. Nah, he take nah, he's nah. You know what I mean? Nah, not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet. You gotta give him a little bit of time. Ain't ready for it. A <laughs> little bit of time. He was, he, he was like, you know what I'm saying? Fort Lauderdale was enough. And then, you know, uh, oh, okay. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might lose his mind and go to Miami. <laughs> yep, gonna be like, Dad, I ain't never coming home. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I was like, man, I wanna, I was like, man, I wanna move in. Yeah. But you know, even he said, "Dad, I want to move here." I was like, "Okay, hey, what you do?" God bless you. I don't want to move to Florida at Dang all. No and you know what's crazy? People there was like, "Oh, just visit." Yeah. The people that moved there said, "You get used to this." They say it's all fun in the beginning, but after a while, yeah, it's not. It's like yo, you get used. It's you get used to it. It, it still feels good every day, right? They, like people that lived there said, "Yo, just visit." It, it's, don't yeah. move here. It's like that. Up here in Jersey too. I mean, you know, people be like, oh, "Man, you you that close to Philly? You that close to Atlantic City? Oh man, I'll be there all the time." But it's Why? like, you to know, us. yeah, to us it ain't it ain't okay. Uh, Atlantic, all right. Atlantic City, Got <laughs> it, it. yeah, it gets old, gets boring after a while. No problem. Okay, yeah, I you can know. definitely uh understand that. Um, so what about you, man? How you feel? What's going on with your mentality? Yeah, my mental health been all right this week, man. It's um. It's, yeah, it's been, you know, up and down, but for the most part, it's been pretty all right. You know, I, uh, it's coming up on the one year anniversary of my mom's death. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, I was thinking about that for the last couple of days because you know we got to get our headstone. So I got to, um, you know, something I don't want to do, but it needs to be done. Um, mm. But uh, you know, other than that, man, I've just been cooling. You know, working hard, working on different projects, and you know, just trying to make money. I had a, I had a, uh, a unexpected show this past weekend, which did me some good. It was good That's to get up. on stage and and make people laugh, man. Um, right. You know, they 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 uh gave me a standing ovation, and right. it was it was something I needed. You know what I right. mean? Mm. Like, man, y'all 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 don't know. Let me give y'all a little insight on on comedians, man. Let's we go. Need, we need that. A lot of times being on stage more than y'all need that, you know, being, you know, the laughter and stuff, because that's when, when a comedian says therapeutic for us, it's not a joke. It's very, very, very true. Mm. Um, just to be able to do what we love to do and have that energy of people laughing and, and, um, all that, man. Cause y'all don't, man, we, we go through some stuff, man. Like a lot of comedians got a dark life. Yo, a of, wow. A lot, of, a lot of comedians are very lonely. That's why, um, just, I think last, yeah, last week, a young up and coming comedian, very, I forget his name. Um, but, uh, up and coming comedian, you, you know, started to be famous, had a special, well, he got a special coming out, uh, committed suicide. Um, you know, don't know what you're going, then you think, you think back like Robin Williams, so successful. Uh, so like the dude. Laugh. So the dude that committed so like you said he got a special coming out and he committed yeah, coming out, it ain't even out yet like he's uh, done one before but he had a new one coming out uh, I can't make his name off the top um I actually heard him perform once before but I mean pretty pretty solid comedian um young like uh, late twenties yeah man he oh died uh, yeah he took his own life man and you know he had a promising future um not saying all of us are, are like that suicidal but it's man this is um a lot of us go through a lot of things man a lot of the stuff side. we talk about is from pain mm. we turn our pain into laughter and you know we we up there talking about it and trying to make you guys laugh as well so man when you go to a comedy show man just try to understand where that comedian coming from you know laugh mm. you know because it, it does us good too man you know i know and it's very, it's a very hard job. Like a lot of us make it seem easy. It look hard, yo. Yeah, it, it I know it look easy. Y'all yeah. do make it look easy. I ain't on front. Y'all yeah. do make it look easy. Make it look very easy, but it's a very difficult task to do. Like a lot of people can't talk in front of a crowd, let alone make them laugh. Right. All at the same time. Right. You know, and they're expecting you to laugh. Like tell yeah. me about that real quick. Like, yo, like yeah. you walk up there, yo, and you know, they sitting there. Just right. looking at you. Pressure. <laughs> the pressure. Pressure, like, bro. Make me pressure. laugh. Like, that's, it's not yeah. like, if you with your boys and all that good stuff and y'all just chilling and or whatever, or it's like a cookout and everybody just, yeah. it's Bar- yeah. it's, that's one thing. Yeah. Barbecue funny is different from different stand-up from, yo. comedy. It's a whole nother monster, man. Bro. You, you got to have structure. You got to have a set. You know, a lot of comedians, uh, I'm not going to mention no names. A lot of them, you know, uh, try to go up there and just wing it. And it shows, wow. it shows a lot of time. Like sometimes you can't get it off. And, but sometimes, you know, you be like, eh, you ain't come prepared. You just came up here, you know, wow. thinking you can just go by off talent. But yeah, man, it's, um, man, it's, it's definitely pressure, especially when they, um, you know, announce you. Like go down your resume. Oh, he did this and he was on oh. this and this, this, this. So it's like, oh man, he did all that. He got to be funny. Oh, he wow, got to be funny. So yeah. it's like, yeah, it's, it's a, man, it's a lot of, it's a lot of pressure. That's why if people think I'd be crazy when I say this, but I say it all the time. I said, that's why I like going different places where they don't know me. Wow. I do because it's not that I, I'm not confident in my ability to make right. people laugh. It's, okay. it's a lot less pressure because if they okay. don't know you, they're not expecting anything. Okay. Like they're expecting to laugh because you're here as a right, comedian. Right, 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 right. But 
they're not like if if Kevin Hart showed up, it's like, oh yeah, Kevin Hart did this and he had all these specials. Right. Man, I know we about to laugh. Right. And then if he get up there and he's not as funny as his other last special, right. you know, you you like, ah man, Kevin falling off, you know, right. what I mean? stuff like right. that. But if it's like, oh, well, you know, Kevin Hart, you know, or it's Chris Clark, you know, he uh. Yeah, he's a comedian. Oh, I ain't never heard of him. Let me get up here. Then I get up here and do my thing. He's like, oh, right. dad, man, right. you funny, man. I ain't, right. I ain't, I ain't know what to expect. You know what I mean? Right. Well, it's, a, it's a lot less, uh, excuse me. It's a lot less pressure to do that, man. So, I got a question though, man. Yeah. Like, cause I know what you gotta, you got, you know, you got, you have, uh, your, your jokes that you right. set up, the same third, whatever. And I guess memorize, I guess what jokes gonna come next. You might, you know, read the crowd and all that good stuff. This is all stuff I just heard, right? Yeah. So my question is, how do you know you don't repeat it? Like, say if you go to, say you go back to a spot, mm-hmm. how do you know, or does it even matter of not repeating another, like the same joke you did before? Like, as you go from place to place to place to place to place, yeah, you can't keep up to like, what did I do when I, what did I do here when I came last year? Yeah, it's, you know it's, saying? uh, yeah, it's, it's a good memory thing. Um, yeah, you definitely have to have a good memory if you're going back to the same spot. But a lot of times, if you're like in comedy clubs, like nine times out of 10, it's going to be a different crowd. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. usually not the same, even though it might be the same venue, it's right. not the same crowd. So it don't you really know, matter. Yeah. So it really don't matter, but you know, you try to, like you might say some jokes the right. same, but you would try to come with some different ones, some new ones. I feel you. You know what I mean? And that if uh, yeah, that and that's only the same spot. But if you're doing a different menu in the same city, then yeah, I, I do the same. You know, I I bring the same jokes, or you know, okay, I, it wouldn't be so much pressure. But um, true story, funny story. When I first started. I, I thought, and this is how, because people, a lot of comedians, when they first start, they struggle to do five minutes. Start mm. to do five, 10, 15 minutes. They struggle, you know, because, you know, it's, it's a lot. And I, I never struggle with that. And I always wonder right. why people struggle. But right. see, I figured, and when I first started, the reason why I got to my hour so quickly, then I'm not a, like within a year, I was at an hour. I had an hour worth of material. Mm. That's like, kind of unheard of in the okay. comedy game. Right. The reason why is because I thought every time I performed, I had it, I needed to have a new set. Oh. So I was, so I was always writing. Oh, you really double, uh, yeah. triple, and quite yeah. people up. Yeah, I always was writing, bringing out new jokes every time I performed. And my boy, um, the one, you know, who really put me on in the comedy game, he always say, he be like, man, he be like, you do a lot of writing. Like you, 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 every time, every time I see you, you got some new stuff. Mm. I was like, yeah, you know, you doing, you know, different shows. You know, like I had a new set, right? He was like, nah. He said, these people ain't heard your last jokes. And that's when wow. I started to realize and I slowed down. I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. I never thought about it like that. I just thought about, oh, I need to have new jokes, which, and then like now, like I kind of wish I'd have kept that mentality. Right. That kind of makes you a little lazy mm. with writing, even though right. I still write. And then I, and then I, I doubt my material a lot, which is right. like, when they say, you know, you are your biggest critic. That's a hundred percent true because I doubt material and I won't say it or I have it written down, getting ready to use it. Then I'm reading the room and I'm like, nah, I ain't going to do it. Or, oh, or I right. might do it and I might, it might, it might slip out. And then instead of, <laughs> fumbling, you know what I mean? You just go to something you already know. Right. Then if it come back to you, do it. But if not, you just leave it alone. You, right. then you get made like, dang, man, I wanted to do that joke, but right. it would have killed too. But it's like, uh, ah, I forgot. I ain't, and you know, you don't want to be over there. I mean, and then, uh, and, um, uh, and then, uh, uh you, man, y'all, nah, you know, you don't want to do that. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> the crowd oh, really? like, all right, uh, oh, there yeah, you go. All right, come on. Yeah. Cause yeah, I like, yeah, go. I like my stuff to flow. You know what I mean? So when right. I'm doing new jokes, I, I practice constantly. That's what's Constantly, up. I practice it like a script. So, but yeah, That's man. Yeah. It's I'm, not meant for trying, everybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, do a new tape in God willing the end of this year, sometime this year, the end of the year. Okay. All new material. So 
That's what's up. Yeah, we'll see. That's what's up. But yeah, man, we uh we're gonna move on. Our next topic, y'all know how we do. What's on your mind? Oh, what's yeah. on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> what's on your mind? <laughs> Oh, what's on your mind? <laughs> what's on your mind? If y'all been under a rock, haven't been listening to the Mama's Boy podcast show, uh, we got this segment called What's on Your Mind. Right. We do it right after our mental health check. Right. And it's um something that's on our mind, whether good or bad. Uh, me and E, we talk about it. We don't know what each other's going to say. Nope. Um, but it's just something that's on our mind that we want to express. and. You know, a lot of, come to find out a lot of people, you know, feel the same way. So, uh, right. E, what's good? What's on your mind? Hey, man, this is what's on my mind. And I'm talking to all the people out there. Listen, I can't, when, all right. When I see posts or people talk about pastors or inspirational uh, speakers and they say things like, Forget about your haters and stuff like that, whatever. <laughs> and then you got people that repost, yeah, this is for my haters, or if you don't like me, or they just do posts wherever, like, forget you, or that, uh, you know, like you can't, like you got people watching you, or, yeah. or I can't stand people that post stuff like this and you don't have haters. You're not even doing nothing to even have one hater. Yo, I hate that too, yo. He yo, got I can't that. stand that. You're doing nothing with your life. You're not doing enough. You're probably a people pleaser or you're riding a fence because when people around you say one thing and when they leave, you say another thing. You're not, you don't even have a hater. No one's even hating on you. But your yeah. biggest hater is your coworker. Right. The biggest hater is, is, your neighbor, because right. your grass is, is you cutting your grass, whatever, and they came out and cut their grass, and you want to blow that up like, oh, man, look at my haters. It's like, no, man. Like, people are talking about haters that actually go out their way and persecute, talk right. trash, try to do something to you type of deal. Y'all don't, right. people are not living at the level of even, you're not even qualified to have a hater. Mm. Speak on it. Yo, it is, yo, you so, so that gets on my nerve that so many people act like uh, people that's watching me haters and or whatever. Yo, mm-hmm. stop it. Stop. You're not even doing enough to have a hater. You're not doing enough. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're uh, not doing enough. You gotta, you gotta do, you got, you have to perform at another level or you gotta, not saying you gotta be overproductive, not saying you gotta be famous. I'm not even right. saying you gotta be known. Right. It, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, what are you doing specifically that's going to catch somebody's attention that's actually don't like you because mm-hmm. of what you do? Yeah. And all you do is stay in the house. You don't even go nowhere. You right. know how many people claim to be homebodies? Mm-hmm. How can you have a hater when you're home all day? <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> Most of people ain't got no haters, yo. Y'all average citizens. <laughs> I'm sorry, yo. Like, yeah. You are a citizen uh, of averageness. <laughs> Nobody hate on a- yo, Chris. Who hates on average, yo? Who really hates on average? Nobody. <laughs> who, uh, like <laughs> he's what said again, man. So like, <laughs> like care about how average you are. <laughs> Shoot, man. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Uh, I see, you, man. It's on your yeah. chest too, brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> oh man <laughs> average hater uh, who, who, who got average haters out here yo you know some things are average haters and some of y'all live below average uh-huh if anything you need people to encourage you they, but yo they they talk about themselves because they hate on themselves that's yeah, they hate on the, yeah and you want to act like you i got haters <laughs> my, my haters look me in the mirror every day <laughs> You your own hater. Now that's sad. Now yeah. you know what's crazy is that's a truth. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I might we can talk yep. about that later. You your yeah. own hater. Dang, that go that's hard, a, yo. That's a word. That go hard. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, go ahead. What's on your mind, yo? Because I'm going to write that down to, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah. on my mind is, man, I, I, uh, I don't like when people say, I'd rather ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. That, that rocks my boat, man. Let's just, cause, I don't know. That's just, it's giving you the thing, the, the illusion of I can do whatever I want. I just ask for permission. Like that, that brings on distrust. Like I can't trust you if, you, if that's your whole model. Like, oh, oh man, like, yeah, like I could do what I want. I, I'm going to just ask for, uh, for forgiveness instead of permission. Like, no, if it requires permission, oh, ask. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't sit up here and say, cause I know, I, I remember, um, the last person I heard said it was Steve Harvey. He said his wife told him that, um, cause it's like some stuff she does that he don't like. And she told him, I'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission. Like that really makes me not trust you. So it's like, what else is, you, what else are you doing that if I find out you just going to ask for forgiveness, but you're not going to stop? Can't just do what you want like that. Yeah, you just can't do what you want. Like, especially if you're in a relationship. Yeah. And, and I don't mean like, uh, a, 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 um, you know, like a, a romantic relationship. I mean, like even a business relationship. Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? You gotta know like, when to do something like that. Yeah. But you, people abuse that stuff. So. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like, like I, the only way I can understand that is if it was like a life and death type situation where you had right. to make a decision right there and then. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, like you had yeah, no I, time. Yeah, you ain't had no time. Like, hey, right. man, look, I had to make the decision right there and then, so I just made it, man. I, I you know, if I messed up, forgive me. I can get right. that. But right. if you got time to think or, hey, let me talk to my husband or let me talk to my wife about it. Part of the plan. Yeah, yeah. part of, yeah. I, yeah, I, if you got that, then no, nah, you, you shouldn't do that. Right. You know what nah. I mean? That, that's just reckless and it it costs um it causes a lack of trust to me. So that's what's on my mind, man. So y'all stop saying that. Stop, stop saying, doing that. Yeah. yeah. Stop doing it. It ain't right. It ain't cool. It ain't funny. It is a license. You try to have a license to do what you want. Yeah. Because you know if you did say something, you probably get that you probably get the answer no. Right. Or like, oh well, and, and, it's not yeah. gonna work. Cause then whatever you cause it, what's crazy is the second part, I'd rather ask for forgiveness, meaning you jacked up. Yeah, you know you like, did wrong. You know you did wrong. We yeah. could have saved that if you would have came in as a team player and like, yo, I want to do this. Oh no, 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 because X, Y, and Z. Oh, I'm glad I didn't do it. See, right. you done, you done, you done. So that, yo, yeah, but you're right, yo. Yeah. Other no. than last minute life and death, or the, you know, whoever is not there and you got to make a decision. Yeah. 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 And that's another thing because my my thing is. Even with my wife, like it's never a straight no. And that's something like I try to get her to understand. Like it's never a straight no. It's more of how can we make it happen? Right. You know what I mean? Like, all right, if you need say $500 to do something, right? It's not like, no. All right, let's figure out how to do it. And we still not broke. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like it ain't, right. oh, no, no, you ain't doing it. No, 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 I'm not that type of person. Let's so, work it out. Yeah, it's just, all right, let's figure out how we can do it. And you, you know, know what, what man? Mean? That's, I, I, to me, you know, even looking at that, you almost, you almost, there, there's a, there is a, uh, and I told my marriage or wife, I'm just saying, like, far as someone that actually, like, it's not no, it's how can we do this? It's more so you want to do it on your own. And it's like, you don't even want my input about it. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a level of like self-centered. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Going back exactly. to the, I'd rather, I'd rather ask for permission than ask for forgiveness type, but not ask for permission, ask for forgiveness. It's like, yo, you rather, it's like you're center stage. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you yeah. think this is the best idea right now and no one will understand. So I got to do it without asking nobody. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So yeah. I, Cause yeah. It's, yeah. Cause it's good to get sometimes, sometimes it's good to get other people's thoughts on it. Definitely. They might, they might see something that you didn't see. Two better than one. Yeah. Especially if it's going to affect more than one person. More than one person. How many, how many people is going to affect? Yeah. How much is going to affect? What's right. the impact? 
and the people that is going to affect need to be involved right. in that decision making. So. Man, see, that's yeah, how bro. fallouts happen. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. That's like me. That's like that's like right now. That's like me. Like I like right now we're doing podcasts. I have a topic. No, I don't. I'm gonna say that example. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know what I want to talk about. I'm not even gonna say nothing to Chris. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna uh, say, hey, look. All right, real quick. Come on, yo. You're yeah. you premeditated. You knew you was gonna do that. Right. What if it knocked the whole show off and go in the left field? Yep. And it's like, oh man, where this come from? This don't even flow what we talking about. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. You don't do stuff like that. Yep. Oh, self centered yeah. people. <laughs> I'm mad. I don't know why. You're a little angry today, brother. Like that. <laughs> we we need to reschedule the show or something. <laughs> Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> like that, bro. I want, I want people to feel what we talking about, man. That's why. Oh, well, they feel it. <laughs> you better feel it. You feel me? <laughs> and when the words of Chris, there it is. There it is. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Oh man. All right, man. Let's All get right. into these hot topics, man. We oh. know this thing going on. It happened, uh, what, last week? <laughs> last week. But, uh, y'all know we was off, but we still got to talk about it. The, it's uh, fresh. the pastor in New York, uh, gets robbed <laughs> during a live stream of his service out of, I, I believe they said, I think, I think they said $400,000 worth of jewelry or something. They, they, a, they try to say it's a million dollars worth of jewelry. Oh, okay. Last I heard was four hundred thousand, but it, it went it, down. It went up to oh, okay. it went down. But they tried to. Down. He, I right, go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, I was just trying to explain the story. So yeah, it, it happened. I actually seen the video. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, and and uh, I'm gonna let E speak first, but I and I give my thoughts. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's what happened. So E, what you think about that, man? I mean, you heard the, the aftermath of all of it. I heard well, some of it. I heard. Right. I heard some of it. Man, come on. So, <laughs> all right. So I saw the video. He was preaching his hand or whatever. It looked like a setup. Yeah, yeah. It just looked, it looked too staged. He was all like, he just laid down real nice. Like, you know, how you look up to see if everything's going according to the plan. Yeah. He like looked up a little bit. I wish y'all could see us how we <laughs> looking right now. So like, and it was like, uh, they walked in. I mean, who's, no, no. All right, cool. We saw a mad movie. I saw a robbery before. I even experienced a robbery before. And I'm going to leave that part alone. But my <laughs> thing is this. No one says, give me your phone. Anybody could have called police. We got smartphones these days. Mm-hmm. Anybody could have hit a, a emergency button. I have an app on my phone right now that I hit a button one time and it alerts whatever for police to come to San Antonio. Yeah. They ne- no one says, give me your phone. Don't nobody, you know, something that was secure, not involving the police. Right. It was too walkthrough. It was all like nice and quiet. No one said, get down. Like, this is a, it was this. It was staged, yo. I actually seen the pastor say something before the, the robbers even said something. I hear it. So go ahead. What, what? Nah, I'm just saying like, I seen him say, oh, oh, oh. And I didn't even hear the robbers first. You ain't hear nothing. Yeah. Like I didn't oh. hear them at all until you know everybody started looking. But did you peep the deacon on the side? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you got to go back and watch it. Oh, in man. the frame where the pastor going down, it's the deacon sitting on the. Uh, it'd be on the left side of the screen. Like, he was just sitting there chilling. He was just there, like. Oh. He didn't move oh, or nothing. Just, like, looking, like, Are you- and then I guess when they left, he got up, you know, everybody got up, started scrambling and stuff. And he got up then, but yeah, he didn't move. He never yeah. moved. He just wa- sat there and watched the whole time. So you got to peep the background people because that's, the, that's the stuff that be giving it away. See, yeah. I'm usually good with that. I, I don't know why. I just <laughs> he was sitting in the pattern. chair right by the pulpit and, oh, uh, yeah, he was just uh, yeah, chilling. He didn't get down to nothing. Dang, I messed up. <laughs> Dang, okay, okay. But yeah, I, I did hear it was, uh, it was a setup. Um, a lot of people called him out. They said it was like for insurance purposes was the, uh, conspiracy theory I was hearing. Um, you know, him getting robbed and, you know, getting money for insurance and stuff like that. Well, and, and a lot of people was getting on him. Um, cause you know, stories like that, people go investigate. So they was like taking pictures of, 
the church and all that. And the church is a storefront. It looks crappy. Like if I walked past it, I, if it didn't have a sign, I could not tell it was a church. It looked like, it looked like some type of abandoned, yo, bro. It looked like it was like, it's white with like blue trim, like light blue trim. It looked like something in a abandoned neighborhood. Like it looked bad and people would like, okay, you got $400,000 worth of jewelry on, but your church looked like this. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. all the, all, they said, and then they shared a picture of the audience. All of the, all the audience was women. They said it was like two men in there. Yeah. He pimping. Yeah. And my thing is you, the, the he's an ex con of, uh, of, uh, what do they say? Uh, identity theft. Oh, is he? I yeah. didn't hear that part. Yeah, you know, I had to right. I had to lean in. I, I was like, man, I just looked yeah. at it this morning. It ain't like I've been looked at it. Yeah, like, it was, yeah. I was like, it just popped up, and I was like, oh shoot, look at this. Yeah, so he has uh, a yeah. He, yeah. So and he, I know he, I know he did a couple live talking about it, and people was calling him out. He did a couple of interviews, and he was like going off on people, and was, like exposing him. Then last year, he stole. He it's a lawsuit. Him stealing ninety thousand dollars from the church. Yeah, that was from a lady. That was from a lady. I heard that. Yeah. That's a whole story. Like, yeah, it was so, he, I couldn't understand the story. That's he was talking about buying, talking buying her a house or something. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yeah yep. I did hear that. And then, and um, it was some type of million dollar claim, whatever case may be. But nah, this is just come on. Yeah. And, they, and he tried to keep it because he said it wasn't no paperwork between them. So she couldn't prove or something that she gave him the money. And they tried to say that there was somebody she knew that came in. To retaliate, that was the yeah. whole story set up. So, I like I don't know how much I believe all that, but yeah. yeah. So now, yeah, this this come on, man. Nah, he, yeah, yeah. Insurance claim alleged allegedly, we believe that this was insurance claim attempt for to collect some money, right? For whatever reason, yeah. For whatever so, reason, I don't know. That's you know, up, though. So, but for those that didn't know that was going on, you know, what I mean. I don't know. It, it's nah, no, nah, you shouldn't go to that church, yo. Forget all that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just, it's, it's, um, to me, it, it makes me mad on the simple fact that a lot of people already are skeptical about churches and pastors with yep. money and all that. And then you hear a story like this yep. and it's like, okay, I see why they drifting away from the church, even though all pastors and all churches are not like that. But yep. when you get stories like this, it's like, it's See, like, there go. Yeah, you, you, yeah, here we go. This is why, this is why I don't go to church, even though we know that the reason why you don't go to yeah, church. Yeah, yeah, ain't the reason, right? Yeah, it's like, but then it's like, okay, like you, you can't really fault them because it's like it's very discouraging. Yeah, it's very yeah. discouraging because a lot, a lot of these pastors, whether y'all want to believe it or not, you know, the, the church is eighty percent women. All mostly, majority of the churches yeah. in America. Is eighty percent women. Right. And a lot of these women don't have husbands, so the or fathers in their lives. So these pastors are like husband and father figures in their lives. Right. Like they think the world of these pastors. And then you go on and you do something like this. You mm-hmm. know, this is this is the definition of of church hurt. Just put a stain on it. Yeah. Just put a stain on it, and it's like, you know, how can people trust you? But again, like this, like. Honestly, to lean in on more and more and more on it, you know what I mean? Some people, like, he's not a, I'm saying, come on, I don't care. My thing is, he, if you're not a real pastor, then he's not going to care. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a person having a cult yeah. or a person that's, you know, doing a charity. You know, you just make money on the side. It's not a real charity mm-hmm. for people that really do charities. So, like, you got real pastors out here, but you got people that I saw. I, I met somebody that was like, hey, man, what you want to do when you, uh, oh, man, I'm going to start a church, yo, make some money. It was like, so you got people that perpetrate actually oh, yeah. consciously start churches so they can steal. They not even Christians. They not even pastors. Because they not even called. Do. And it's easy to do it's because anybody, do. anybody can act like somebody inspirational. You got kids out here that can act like a preacher. Yeah. So how much more than an adult? Yeah. So again, yeah. the devil, but. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Next topic. We got a uh, yeah. An anesthesiologist. Y'all prepare your ears. 
<laughs> an anesthesiologist. I don't I don't know what what where he was from, but he got caught on video um putting his uh privates, his penis, inside the pregnant woman's mouth during a C section procedure. Yes. Uh uh E man, what's your thoughts, man? I don't <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, God, like yeah. first of all, what first I don't know where to start at, bro, to say the truth. I did know what I started and then now it first of all, how hmm. are you first of all you nasty. You disgusted. Yeah. You you're low down, dirty, whatever. Hmm. How do you have the balls, the audacity? To even pull it out. Forget about what you about to do with it. Yeah. Like, think about it, man. You sitting there and say, mm, look at her mouth. Like, what made you like? <laughs> what, what that mouth do? What the, come on, bro. <laughs> she might be listening on this, man. Oh, <laughs> she might be a fan, bro. Like, oh, <laughs> man, whoever you are. No, 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 no. So like, I'm just uh, saying, that's what he was thinking. That's like, what he thinking. Nah, I got that. Mm, yeah. What that mouth do? <laughs> and then, remember, there's like all them people, <laughs> all them people there. They behind the curtain on the side. Yeah, I know, but chilling. I'm just saying, it was could an easy way. Hey, hey, make sure you are. Right. Hey, buddy, what what do you got going on here? You know. And, and the other thing about it is, he's an anesthesiologist. He's supposed to be paying attention to the heart rating. How much is she about to wake up? Is she about to fall asleep? Because you know people die. Yeah. And he's in, getting anesthesia. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and you know, they get paid top. You know, they get paid a lot of money, these anesthesiologists. Mm-hmm. So you're not even paying attention. You're not even paying attention to the welfare of her survival during this daggone procedure. Mm. Then, this is certain. I got, what's your thoughts, yo? I, 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 man, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, it's, it's, this is like top level disgusting yeah yo. and it, it it goes to kind of like what we said about the preacher like how can we trust you in this hospital again because uh, i i ain't even gonna lie yeah, man. Yeah. like this this has been the thought of mine too like i had got surgery maybe about 15 years ago about 14 15 years ago um on my finger and the thing that scared me was they knocked me out. I remember they was like count to ten. Oh, you, so, I, mean, hold on, hold on. Huh? I was no, I was I, I, they told me to count to ten back. No, I'm about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't even want to know what you had to say, man. <laughs> what, what you want to stop saying? No. But they they knocked me out. They kept to count to ten backwards and. I was knocked out. All right, my bad. And I don't, I don't remember nothing but them waking me up, Mr. Clark. Mr. When I was in my room, Mr. Clark. And I'm like, you know, you think back on it, you like, yo, they could have did anything to me. And I would, <laughs> I would not have known. I was gone. Bro, I was like, bro, you like gone. I feel that. You know what I mean? Yep. Like I like literally, I remember them when I first went in there to get the surgery. They put the stuff on me, like count to ten backwards. I didn't uh, even get yeah. to one. I just knew I was gone. And yeah. then the next minute, it didn't even seem long at all. Yeah, you just come find, right back. Yeah, find out you was in there for hours. And then yep. the next thing, you in your room, they waking you up, Mister Clark. Wake up, Mister Clark. Uh, you know, trying to wake you up out of right. the thing. And I'm just like, wait, y'all done? They was like, uh, they laughing at me, like, yeah, we done. You been done? And I'm like. Dang, you know what I mean? You, then you, and you that vulnerable, yo. Yeah, and then you go back and think, like, yo, they could have did anything, anything to me. And yo. then when you see stuff like this, it's like, it makes you wonder, like, how many other people been uh, sexually abused My, or, or anything his first, This is not like his that. first time, yo. Yeah, it's definitely not his first time. It's not his first like, how time, many yo. How many times you did this? Now they got to go back, you know, in cases like, like the one... Remember years ago, I don't know you remember the, uh, the doctor that impregnated all them women, the dentist. Yep. Cause yep. he put them under and having sex with them and they ain't even know. And they uh, having his kids. Like, you know what I mean? Yo, this world is crazy, yo. Yeah. So it's like now you gotta have like cameras in there, but it's like the damage is already done. Give me flipper real like, quick. <laughs> 
the person recording. I if I'm recording, bro. Yeah. And was I that him? See, was that him recording, or was that somebody else? It, it, it wasn't it moving. I think somebody was holding because I heard a voice. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was something he set up. To so I heard he a can... voice. Oh wow. And my thing is, honest, okay, let me. Okay, now nah, let's add that. Honestly, was it was it someone else that was recording for him? But it got posted, so I don't know. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? The fact that it was posted, I'm believing. Like, where did a person get this video from? Like, was it on a like was it on a porn site and then somebody pulled it and put it up on social media saying like look at this type of doing whatever? Yeah. Like, I like I'm now thinking about it. Where's the origin of where this video came from? It's amazing how these videos pop out of nowhere. Like where did mm-hmm. it come from, right? But I'm just thinking about if I was recording and I saw that, I'm banging on the window like, "Hey, look what he doing!" Like I w- like you know what I'm saying? Like, but it, it, yeah, and then it could have been like some suspicion somebody had. It, that's what I want to say. And yeah. then they probably did it to have proof. That's probably yeah. That's yeah. Um, and once they uh, got the, once they got the proof, hey 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 hey, no, I got you on video, buddy. Because you know now if it ain't if it ain't on video, it ain't been done. It ain't happened. Yeah, it ain't it happened. Happen. So. No, that dude nasty yo. Yeah, right? he, he, and that, he got to go to jail for the rest of his life. Like, and that's not his first time, yo. Yeah, you just, you know, lost how you do the that? Trust. How you just pull it out in mid surgery? Like, how horny do you have to be, oh, yo, to pull it out in in mid surgery and stick you know, it in somebody's mouth? You know, I'm about to say though, right? You know where I come from? This is pornographic society, bro. <laughs> you know he watched porn. He nasty. <laughs> so he had to try it. Nasty. This man's, uh, he probably man. he probably was getting money for that too. Oh yeah. my god, yo, you can, come on, yo, you about to send me down a rabbit hole. You know them porn sites. They, they, I heard they, they pay, pay you good money. They pay for stuff like this, yo. Yeah. <sighs> so nasty, yo. Nah, please, he about, put it, he about to put it on his books. <laughs> you going to jail? Yo, this is yo. That's that crazy, it. yo. I don't even know. Wow. Okay. Let's go to the next one, man. Go ahead. Child care. <laughs> See that one. <laughs> child care provider shoots her husband after a child children, not this one child, children molestation claim. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's say the whole title. Right? So it's a woman that got a, uh, actually it's in my area. The first, I moved to Randolph Town when I first moved to, uh, Baltimore. Yeah. And she lives in Baltimore. She has a daycare in Owings Mills, Maryland, which is right by is Baltimore County. Cause you got Baltimore City, you got Baltimore County. It's two different situations. Okay. So she's, she lives in a county of Baltimore. And so she lives in Baltimore County in Randallstown, but her own, her, her, uh, childcare, um, business is in Owings Mills, which is still in Baltimore County. But okay. yeah, I'm familiar. the, the, um, uh, she shot the dude in a hotel room in a, in DC. They was on the eighth floor, shot him in the leg. Um, I guess police got called because of shooting. They knocked on the door. They asked, say, what well, they banging on the door saying there, uh, she said, don't come in here or I'm going to kill myself. She said mm-hmm. that. Um, and then after she said that, whatever is there is, they said, is there a man in there that shot or there's somebody that's, is there a shoot, a shot, a sh- shotting, vic- shooting, vic- and somebody in there that got shot. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, he's an effing, um, child molester. This ain't there, whatever. So she's got locked up. Her daycare is now shut down. And at this time, so that's the story. The only thing we don't have was, is. Was it her child or was it somebody else's child? It was the children. It was what? At, it was the children at the daycare. I thought it was her so, child. Oh, okay. So it wasn't her child. It was just one of the kids told at the daycare told. Could have been. It, it could have been her child included. But it was also involving other children. But the guy it, that that wasn't her husband. It was that was her husband. Oh, it was her husband. It wasn't. It it was it was they was married for five years. Oh, okay. So it's so there. He's not the probably 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 he's probably not, the, not child the biological father, father oh. of her children, but it's claim of him child molestation of the children from the daycare. Mm. So okay. got you. They can't now. Okay, so go ahead. What's your uh okay. I mean uh, I 
it's mixed mixed feelings for me because I kind of applaud that because I know history being told a lot of parents don't believe their children when they claim this, when they claim to be sexually assaulted. So I kind of commend her for at least believing the child or trying to investigate. But when you do something like that, you got to be for certain because these kids be lying. So I mean, like, I, I want to. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to. So we will not be. So we know we're credible on what we said. Okay. I just want to. I just want to confirm what I'm saying. It says, um, it's from DC. Her last name is Weems, who operates a daycare and owns mills. Says she was told by the children that her husband was molest molesting them. That's what it says. So how old are the children? They didn't give no age. She's fifty, but they didn't get no age of the children. Yeah. So I, I, I'm like, I mean, I mean to I'm, cut you off like that. No, 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 no. I'm glad you, I'm glad you added that because a lot of times, now I'm, I'm not, I'm not defending nobody. If he did what he did, of course, you know, get what you got. But a lot of times kids say stuff, but don't mean, that's not what they mean. You know what I mean? I know um, you should have lied on them. Like they probably didn't like them. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, maybe and, and, and that's strict. another thing. Yeah, he probably mean he didn't like it because that that's happened in a lot of cases. That where, happens. Um, you know, the kids I say somebody did something because they don't like them. They trying to get rid of them. And they do something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I would have me personally, I would have investigated. Investigate. I try to pull a gun out on somebody and shoot. Like, of course, I would have confronted them. Hey, what's this? The kids telling me you molested them. Like, yeah. Blah 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 blah. You know what's going on. Your story. What's going on? Yep. You let you talk, and then I I decide if I want to believe you or not, and then take it to the authorities. Like don't don't the only shooting people. But now, but I'm saying, but now she's locked up. I know that's my thing. And now your your daycare is shut down. Yeah. Now your life because is messed of up that because of something you heard, not something you know. And your you know life what I mean? is not jacked up. Like I I I. I can see if she caught him in the act. Yeah, like, then, yeah. Yeah, the then passion. I'm like, yeah, all right, you got to do what you got to do. Like, and emotions. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't even fault you for shooting the man, but this is something you heard from kids. Children. You know what I mean? Not saying don't believe them, but investigate. Investigate. Yeah. It doesn't because, say nothing in here that she investigated. Right. Because any, not, yeah, any claim yeah. like that, you need to investigate. But my thing yeah, is, people, though. People, people do lie. Kids she's fifty years. She's fifty years old. Yeah. So it's only two things. It's only three things I'm thinking about. The first of all, it don't look like you investigated. You just look like you just did something. Right. Second thing is, if you did do that, then maybe you was already suspicious, and you was like, "I knew it," and you mm -hmm. went off. But still, you still have to look into it. Right. Because if you were suspicious as a daycare owner. You should have been looking into it. Yeah. But this is all speculation, people. This is just me and Chris giving up our point of views on the situation. Yeah. Off the information we off got. the information. Right. Or she did and it is meant put in the reports that she did investigate. Like you know what I'm saying? And it is wrote out, which they sh you know, they usually put it in here that yeah. why, when, where. Or but you know how we do our theories. Oh snap. Okay, let's go. Or the whole uh, molesting the kids was a cover up of why she really shot. Him. Oh, and there it is. Oh, because we ain't getting no information of how old the kids, why, uh, how long they've been molested, or where they was molested. We ain't getting none of that information, bro. So okay. What if, let's what if she throw the See, claim out there? Hey, here you go, Chris. Chris. Now, you cause be, it's, cause yo, it makes sense. Right. I mean, you, it makes sense. Don't you know come in here or, or I'm gonna kill myself. You know why? Why, it makes why sense. you, why are you gonna kill yourself if you did some heroic act? I'm not killing Ooh. myself if I shot somebody that's molesting kids. I'm not, I don't even feel sorry. Yeah. Come on in and you're going to get this sucker too. So what if he was just cheating or something? And she shot him. Oh well, he he was molesting the kids at my daycare. They told me. How old is these kids? Because they probably not even old enough to talk or even know what molesting is. What I'm thinking that I'm thinking as a daycare, 
like, cause daycare is usually, uh, babies up to toddlers and toddlers don't know what molesting is. So let me give y'all backstories of why Chris is saying what he's saying, number one, and not going into the details of it, but Chris family on his side, they have, they, I can say that daycare businesses yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Years. We're yeah. talking about decades. Yeah. Mom, mom was a child care provider for um, 40 years before she passed. So we're not, so he's not speaking from speculation. No, like he is well, his, him and his family is well known of knowing the system of daycare and dealing with situations. Right. So I want, I just want to back this up with experience that I know Chris right. has seen her. And I worked at it. Professionals. And he's yeah. worked. <laughs> and I worked well. there. Probably since he was 12. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> Something around there. Yeah. Been around kids my whole life. And you know what makes this even more that you always send me down these rabbit holes, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> Cause if you found that out, understand, I, I live in the area. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Mama's Boys podcast show, bro. That's right. Where, where we, where we <laughs> dig in. So understand, she lives in Randall's town. Her daycare is, is always Mills. That's her husband for five years. They clearly live together. Was he also helping at the daycare? We don't know. It's not in yeah. there. But how did you wait till you get all the way to DC, which is mm-hmm. without traffic? And it's 695. I'm, uh, people that surround this area, I'm about to speak because I live here. 695 is always heavy in traffic. They've been working on 695 since 2012 and before that. And they still yeah. doing stupid. But, so to get all the way to DC without traffic, it's still like a 45 minute drop with traffic, which is mainly, mainly all the time. It's like an hour drop. So you get from here, y'all driving a car together, speculate all the way to DC. You, you check in in a hotel. You go to the eighth floor. Mm-hmm. First of all, what you doing with a gun on? It was premeditated. It was premeditated. Yeah. Definitely. Does that sound like a passion killing of child molestation? Right. You could have did that at home. You could have did it at the daycare. And then it's like, how is this dude getting, if, if you said she, the, the, uh, the daycare was in Olin Mills and where Olin they live and where they lived at? They live in Reynolds Town, which is always in Reynolds Town. Don't talk about like a 15, 20, 15 minute drive. Okay. Depending on where they live at. And okay, they work, so and they work. but she got a whole daycare. So where is he getting? You know, how's he getting to these kids? It, see, it doesn't and, say. And it, that's it what doesn't I'm saying. Say it, it, and where is yeah, he doing it? At? Okay, I see. Say, you know what I mean? It doesn't have no details of nothing unfolding. Yeah. Which that ain't, the, that ain't the story, man. I think she killed him for another reason. I don't think he molested him. I think. Well, she intended to kill. She didn't kill him. Uh, we, well, yeah, attempt to kill. She shot him in the leg. Yeah, but, they don't know. They don't know his. Uh, they probably yeah. do now, but we don't know his uh condition. Yeah. I, I now, think more than that, bro. I really do. For the sake of, if this is the truth, if that did happen, <sighs> yeah. But it's it's just tough, man. And, and just like the other stories, it's like, how can we trust our kids being at the daycare now? If it's yeah. true. If it's true, and people need childcare because they got to work, that's a part of society, yo. It's part, yeah. So you trusting these people to watch your kids and care for them as if their own. And number one, you got you got uh, they abusing them now, you know, uh, allegedly uh, uh, molesting them. Just like there was a police officer. There's another story about a police officer um, molesting some kids. Whatever, he's a retired police officer. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you know, that, and this, if it is true, like my, my opinion, now that I went down this rabbit hole, I really think it was something else. It's more to the story. It was, yeah, it's a lot more to the story. And I don't think it was molesting. I think that's the story she claimed to try to get out. Because number one, mm. is a lot of times it's hard to, um, investigate a claim like that. And then, you know, once your name is 
tied up into something. Your life is already over, whether you did it or not. And her, her, and then her business is gonna be done. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's done. Yeah. The she's only re, the only thing will I probably give her that if this somewhat true in a sense, because if they do investigate, she had she she don't have to. Well, they probably will subpoena her, but they will have to go talk to the children. Okay. Hey, they, you know what I'm saying? So if they did follow up, I mean, they will have to go investigate, and these children will have to say, "Did you say what happened?" This and third, whatever, boom, mm-hmm. boom, 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 boom. Like you know what I'm saying? And yeah, mm. yeah. that's that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna follow up on this one. This one, I'm gonna keep my eye for this one. Yeah, we're gonna we'll bring it back keep up. Keep y'all breaking news. Yeah. But speaking of breaking news, uh, <laughs> nah, it's a follow up on the story we did before. I just want to give people, uh, I don't know if you even heard this. I know. Oh, I couple, something else. I go ahead about yeah, that. Nah, a couple right. episodes ago, we was talking about Deshaun Watson, oh. uh, the quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, how he, you know, he had what, 24 counts of, um, sexual misconduct with, like uh, massage there, massage parlors and all that good stuff. Yeah, Things like that. So um, I know just today they 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 suspended NFL suspended him for six games. Six games. Six games. So um, that's all we know because I think six games. I think all the settlements got settled um, outside of court, but they yeah the NFL still suspended him for six games. So. Uh, that's just an update on the story we had. Uh, you, 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 you think, would you, so you think that's, you know, I don't know. I mean, my, my thing with that is it's, I don't know. It's tricky with me because it's like, I don't, cause when we talked about it before, he did it's it. like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, we, we say he did it, which we don't, we don't, we don't 100% we don't know, know. We don't want there, but it's like, even though you settle out of court, don't make you guilty. It's just, you don't want to go through the heartache and pain of trial and the possibility of you being found guilty. So that's why a lot of people settle outside of court. And then because then my thing with the NFL with the suspension is they do it. They do it. They suspend you just for your name being involved, which is messed up because I don't know if you remember a few years ago, they did it to Ezekiel Elliott. I was Ezekiel, Dallas yeah. Cowboys. Yeah. They suspended him for six games and he was found not guilty. They, they found out the girl that claimed he, he raped her. Yeah. They found out she was lying and they still suspended him for six games, which I don't understand that. Like I'm innocent. And you still suspend me without pay for six God. games. Like that's messed up. You know what I mean? So I don't know what the personal conduct, cause that's what they suspended him for. They said for violating the personal, uh, misconduct thing. So it's like, you know, just because my name is involved, you know, see, see it, uh, see this is where contracts come in clauses. Yeah. I mean, the, which, you know, that's why I say it's really messed yeah, up because it's, really it's like, up. it's like, even if, even if, um, like anybody can mess my name up. Like if you was in NFL and I came, oh, like, yo, Ed, let me get a hundred thousand dollars. Nah, man, I ain't get you no hundred that. All right. Well, if I can't get it, you ain't going to have it. I'm going to go to the NFL and say you, right. you molested me. And now, right. even though I'm lying, but just because your name was brought up in, in and the wrong. allegation, they going to suspend you for some games without pay. See, this is the thing though. The thing with me, a little, the thing with me is, the details of the of, of the case, because sometimes you are found innocent because of lack of evidence. That don't mean you ain't just because yeah. you not found not guilty. Don't mean you ain't do it. Right. See, there's, there's a difference it's between it's, yeah, it's because it's reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt. So yeah. him being not guilty legally don't mean yeah that he didn't do it. So legally, but, but legal... this but this didn't say he didn't do it. It was just settled. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So they just, so, they paid these women off and, so my, on this and made case, it get thrown, thrown out. But you know, that's business, yo. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can't let this dude go to prison because we need him. We just, we gonna pay them this money. Yeah. I got, I, I, you know, dealing with the NFL, whatever. And I, yo, it's to me, it's about that bottom dollar, yo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who paid it off and six games? Yeah. Hey, we gotta do something, but yo, we could, we can miss six games. 
Yeah. That's, a, that's a, the yeah, beginning of the season. Like, you know what I'm saying? Money. It's all about money. It's all about, in the day, it's all about money. So, I, even, I'm looking yeah. at it differently of, of a money game. But, but, e- but even with this, and I said this last time we talked about that case, like, the, the owners of the Texas should be in jail, too, because y'all knew about it. Y'all yeah, the one, yeah. y'all the one kept it on hush for this long. And then when the man wanted out of Houston, y'all bring all these allegations up. Like y'all kept it a hush. So y'all was involved too. They, they, let's, let's go, let's go all the way in. Come on, man. It's dirt under everybody nails up there, man. Like not everybody, but you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So man, the billionaires think they could do anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is. Yeah, people are how one man takes it power. all for what a lot of people do. Right. The same thing with R. Kelly when we talked about R. Kelly. Man, it's a lot of people. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of people, lot of people in that, involved. In that, in that, involved in that. A lot. You take, you take and all if R. Kelly life. wants to sing, and I don't mean literally, a <laughs> lot of people going to get in trouble. And you know what? Nah, he saw what happened to Winston. He ain't going to say nothing. Yeah, I, yeah, I know they threatened him. Yeah, you better not, you better not say nothing. Of course they yeah. threatened him. Hey. Cause if he was me and I'm already in my mid fifties and I got 30 years, oh, I'm talking. Yeah, yeah you are, yeah, that's basically you too. dead. Yeah, yeah that's the end of your life. Like I'm, yeah, I'm not getting up to almost 90. What I got to lose? And then what he gonna go, what you gonna go through while you're in prison knowing you in there for that? Yeah. And you are Kelly, they gonna test the mess out. Unless they say he in jail, he really ain't in jail. He just somewhere chilling. I mean, oh, celebrity that, jail. Yeah, the celebrity. See jail. how this money thing go, yo. Yeah, like it's, it's like is it, money. is it really punishment, yo? Like is it? It's all about money. Uh, all about money. Like some even of even got, even the claims, not even the, yeah. even the, the payoffs. Like we, we talked about before, how it's a payout. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm gonna accuse you. But I know I'm gonna get like a good half a million out of this. Right. I know and I'm gonna get a good fifty thousand out of this or yeah. whatever. And that was the same thing like stuff with like Michael Jackson. Like I don't wanna go through the pain of going through court. So yeah, all right, just give him a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Cause so I got quick. it like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go yeah, away. You go. Don't mean I'm guilty. Don't mean you don't guilty. mean I'm innocent. But I just don't want to go through the pain. And then like I said, the possibility of me get found and guilty. And that's how it, they but that's how they get a lot of these young, or not, ain't not even young people, people in general. That's how they get them to go to jail. Like, hey, well, if you say you, if you plead to this, you know, you yeah. only get three years. Well, but yeah, if you shit, take yeah. the chance to go to court, they are gonna tag this on, and you can get, yeah. you can get at least twenty five. Yeah. Most people, oh well, I just do the three. Now you right. still a fe- you still a felon. You know, you still can't vote. You still can't do a lot of things, even though you was innocent. But you can, but it's the possibility of you can be found guilty because it ain't about them proving you're, that you're innocent. It's just, no, that, that, about them proving that you're guilty is that you can't prove you're innocent. You, you, you know what I don't get, yo? If you make an open public claim about something happened to you, I think at that juncture, you can't get no settlement. I think it's all down to find out if, he's, if he or she is guilty or not. Yeah. Because my thing is, as a judge or as a, you know, but you ever saw, you ever saw that little symbol of the, of the courthouse with the lady that, that holds the, the way and things yeah. and her eyes yeah, are the, covered. The scale and all that. Yeah, the scale. Yeah. And it says the law is blind. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it says so we're going to deal with whatever and we not, right. we don't know who we're dealing with. But my thing is, if you are openly claiming to do something, it's across the news and saying third whatever. No, you need to take that all the way to court. Yeah. Like you just can't, like, I'm just saying, yo, as society, if someone, if, if a, a woman saying he raped me, this and third, he touched me on this and third, boom, 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 boom. And they say, you know, like, Hey, judge, we're going to go to settle. Pause. No, let's find out if he broke the law. Mm-hmm. So that lets you know money runs this, yo. Yeah, it's money. And then you got enough money. Yo, and then you- some cases, yeah, like you said, people uh, make claims just to get money. They know ain't, they ain't, ain't nobody touched them. But they know ain't nothing that happened to them. But they know, look, I know they ain't going to go to court, but they're going to settle for this $100,000. So I need it. Like some people live off, off of lawsuits. Like it's a game to them. What would Jay and, like, and like, and 50, 50 Cent said it. He said yeah. nobody, he said, he said nobody has sympathy for the, the person with money. He said all these, people, all these people want, want your money. They making all these false claims, hoping that you will settle out of court. Nobody has sympathy for them. 
Like, you really got to think about this stuff to see if stuff is real or not. Like, you really, like, how we be doing critical thinking on stuff, like, you really got to sit down and, like, look at the situation to see, like, okay, did, this, did that really happen? Yeah, you have like, to. Yo. You have to. Kobe Bryant, I remember, and I love Kobe Bryant, man. Yeah. And, like, what happened to Kobe Bryant years ago? Yeah. Like, dude, this is, like, it's, like, constant. Yeah. And the thing uh. is, because she said Kobe raped her, but Kobe said it was consensual, which yep. I believe it was consensual. Yeah, it was consensual. And then when, you know, they found like three different semen in there. So like, like, yo, this, yo, you've been doing this. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you do. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. consensual. Kevin, I mean, what, uh, what happened to Cat Williams a while yeah. back? Yo. Yo, it's, it's. Yeah, man. <sighs> okay. So look, we want to get into our main topic. Um, we talking about 50-50, man. It's a big thing going on. It's coming back up. It's been servicing, um, you know, previous years, but it's come back up. It's a big thing on social media, uh, especially TikTok, um, about going 50-50. Um, why a lot of women on social media are claiming why men want to go 50-50, um, you know, with bills and also other stuff that involve the house. Um, not just wife, but like girlfriends as well. Um, so, you know, me and E want to kind of talk to you from the perspective of why men are asking for 50 50. Yeah. Like what, what is the reasoning why? Because. And bring down a 50 50, like, like living together. Yeah. You, you 50 50, no. you're living together. Um, not in, in some cases, you're not even living together because, um, just being in a relationship. You know, oh dates and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, dates. Uh, they feel entitled that the man should always pay. Um, they claim you know, man, man is uh supposed to be the provider, and you know they they he should pay his bills and her bills, um, regardless if they living together. Um, everything should fall on the man. Um, so, but men now to in today's time are asking for fifty fifty. You know, y'all split down the middle on the bills and, you know, women are having a problem with it. So, uh, e, you want to take it first or, uh, I, yeah, like, you know, I, 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 it's, I, I, I'm going to say it's a, it's a problem with it for the simple fact that it been, it been going on like that for so long. When you have a change, someone's going to complain mm -hmm. or when you want someone to ask for a change. Somebody gonna complain. Like, oh, what you mean? If I, been, if I have been privileged to, to, to experience, uh, you know, being taken care of and now you want to switch it up, of course you want to have like, uh, a buckle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, whoa, like and all that good stuff, whatever. Personally, how I am, whatever. I'm, I'm a traditional dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I like taking care of my wife with the situation that there, but also believe in working together. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know I mean, like, so if, if we, if she working, I'm working, then, you know, my wife will cook, whatever. Well, my situation changed a little bit, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, like, you know, I don't mind cooking. Got living the <laughs> single. Why, yo? Why? Yo? Like, anyway, <laughs> so like, so like, uh, but yeah, I, like, if you, if we working together at something, if you're not a stay at home mom, then it's like I can see why the discussion is is wanting to come up, like you know what I'm saying. But me, I, I don't know. I come from a open the door, shivery's not dead type of. You know what I mean? I like being in a position, to take care of you, and all that good yeah. stuff, whatever. So my whole thing is, men want it for the simple fact of the. I think also for the demand on what women want. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, far as the best dates and, you know what I'm saying? I want this, I want this, I want this. And I get it. I understand. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And if this man only makes $60,000 a year or whatever case may be, then can he afford X, Y, and Z? So if you want that, hey, let's do it together. Let's go 50-50. But at the same time, it all depends on the situation. On the end of the day, yo, it all depends on the situation. Yeah. Who's working? Who's doing what? Well, who's who's home? Who's not? Are y'all living together? Going out? 
that's that's we just start not discussing this. So what should what should be your should be getting uh take on um it. I mean I'm I'm like you. I'm I'm a traditional man too. I believe in, you know, providing for my family. It's my family is what I asked for, it's what I the hand I was dealt. Um so I should, you know, take care. But on the other hand, I can see why men in today's generation are asking for fifty fifty. Um and I made this comment on a on a TikTok post that that was talking about this. And I simply said, I said, men, I said, ladies, men that are asking for 50-50 don't trust you. Simple mm. as that. I said, they don't trust you. And it's more about you than it is him. Because now it's like, in most houses, you need two incomes. You know, yeah, it, 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 it's very, it's not, very yeah. few where one income, unless you just have a great job. Um, but I think it's like, I think they said 15% of Americans make six figures. Yeah. Only 15%. And yeah, the bro. average man makes, um, just under $50,000 a year. Yeah. The average man in America. So, right. um, most men in, in today's generation are asking for 50 50 because it's like, all right, I'm going broke paying all these bills that, and, and then they say, and, and I'm speaking statistics. This is what they said. Right. Um, women have 80% of the debt. So it's safe to say that I'm spending, I'm going broke, uh, paying for debt that you accumulated. Mm -hmm. So, and then when you get paid and you get your check, you doing what you want to do. And right. you're not, you're not helping out the house. It's just all on you. You're not doing right. enough for me. You're not doing enough for the kids or the house, whatever. Uh, you know, even if y'all don't need have kids, you're not, you know, doing anything. Right. So it's right. like, it's like, why am I going broken? You're stacking up. So I get that. Right. I, do. I get that. And that's why men are acting for 50 50 because they don't trust you. You know what I mean? Like Eve stated earlier, it should be a team. It should be a teamwork. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, all right, we both work. Let's put our money together. Me and my wife just had this conversation um the other day because I, I was asking her about it. And, you know, we was on the same page. It's, it's a right. teamwork. It's whatever it right. takes. It shouldn't be 50-50. It's whatever it takes. You know, we are together. Yeah, yeah, because we're together, um, especially if, if, you, if you're married. You know, it's all about what, the best interest for the household. Right. You know what I mean? Especially if you got kids involved. It's like, okay, I, uh, something might happen to me where I can't make as much money as I used to. So you might have to pick up the slack. Right. You know what I mean? Stuff right. like that. But in my opinion, I don't think no man should be paying for a woman anything, any type of woman bills if he's not married to her. I don't Ooh. think you I don't think you should be buying her a car. Don't be paying her rent. Don't be paying her cell phone bill. Like, okay, you take her out on a date, yeah, you should pay for it and you know, things like that. But as far as her bills, it's like, okay. You accumulated these bills, not me. You pay for them. Like, so if, you, this question. If, you didn't, if you didn't have me, how would your bills get paid? Right. So, like, the men that's asking for 50 50, are they putting themselves in a the situation to even make that complaint? Like, a lot of people living together are not married, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I get so, that. So, like, you know, you move in, this hand or whatever. And it's like, I, yo, let's. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I think, I, I, I think, and I know in certain, some situations from friends and family that I talk to, right. it's, it, it does come, cause no real man, now we, we're not talking about little boys or, or, yeah. or men with small minded men. We're not, we're talking about real men, real right. men that are asking for 50 50. It's, it comes from a place of, I feel like I'm being used. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right, if we both go half on stuff, then we both good. Cause you can leave me anytime you feel like it. And I'm still, I still got to pay these bills. I'm still broke. And you over here stacking up. Like I get that. I understand that. You know what I mean? And it's like, I can't, I can't fault them for that. Like, even though I'm a traditional man and, and I, I, I do, you know, I do represent the the ones that take care, you know, their family. Do what you got to do to take care of your family. But it's like I, I I'm not mad at that. You know, I am. And then it's like, and then it's like a woman 
wants that man to be traditional, but they don't want to be that traditional woman. And that's another thing that they're yeah, saying. It's like, all right, you're, you're not being submissive. You're not, you're not making me better. You're not taking care. You're not cooking. Cause a lot of these women in this generation don't know how to cook. Okay. You know what I mean? So right. it's like, it's like, all right, you want, you want this. And then, uh, I, I hear another thing I hear people saying, Oh, don't, don't give him, uh, wife benefits if you're just a girlfriend. Okay. I'm all for that. But that same thing go for that. Don't expect me to do husbandly duties and I'm just a boyfriend. You know what I mean? See, you know, see the thing is with me, and, and I'm about to go spiritual with it, bro. You know go where spiritual. I come from. Go spiritual. Everybody is leaving away from principles. And because they're leaving away from principles, they're having these situations. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, like I'm with you. We're married. It's not even my money, your money. It's our money. Right. Whatever money he make goes in the same pot, the same throw, whatever. Like I know, um, um, pastor of mine that was when I, when I was in New Jersey, whatever, like his income paid for all the bills, but her income was saved up for them and they went on vacation off her income. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like the once yeah. and he, like he took care of the needs, yeah. she, she took, took care, care of the once. once. Right. And yeah. it worked out. Yeah. Whatever. Um, I can get with that. I get with that. Right. Mm-hmm. And then. I'm a more of a, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if I'm talking to my wife, I'm not even going to ask for your part of the rent or part that, that seems weird to me. It does. That's weird. It to seems me. very weird, but I get it. I get it. <laughs> but because we're moving away from principles, yeah, it's weird. I think a lot of people, because they're moving away from God, yo, yeah. They're having these issues now. The farther you get away, I'm just going to, to me, it's the core issue. The yeah. farther you're moving away from God, the more issues you're going to have. Because if you came closer, there won't be no 50-50. It's, this is, first of all, get married. This is ours. Direct deposit in the same account. Money is don't have no face on it. Don't have no name on it. It's all mixed up like water. If I take mm-hmm. two cups of water and pour it in one cup, I can't tell what was, what was from your cup and what's from my cup. Right. It's all, it's all water. Right. So when the bills are getting paid, you know, automatically, stuff like that, whatever, it's not about from what paycheck. Cause it came, it's, it's from the same account. Mm-hmm. So, and some people have a house account, which I, I like stuff like that. A house yeah. account. Yeah. We, we got one too. You do the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Rule. Well, yeah. So I, because now we're going to go back to whatever. But because they're getting away from God, yo, they have these issues and they're trying to figure out how to do life without God. And that's why they complain it. Because you're trying to live life without principles of the kingdom, period. Now, not putting God on the back, on the, on the back burner. That's the answer. But just looking at the situation from the viewpoint of them being over here from God. Mm-hmm. I get it in the sense of because of how society is with the ec- the economy, how things are so expensive, how much it costs, the car payments and stuff like that, whatever. It's yeah. like, yo, we could have way more fun if we just work together and go half and half. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're going out together, like, you know what I'm saying? How much more can we enjoy if we go half and half? I get it. I don't roll that way. I just understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And, 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 and 50 50 don't always have to be, oh, rent thousand dollars. Let's pay $500 each. It right. can also mean, Hey, I pay rent. You pay the utilities. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's make like, it up. You know, like it can go that way too. And, and, oh, I pay this and you pay that. I pay this and right. you pay that. Not like, oh, rent ain't going to get paid because I got my 500, but you ain't got yours. Like, right. Like that's just stupid. Then you're not y'all both gonna be out on the street because so, <laughs> stuff that, like that. Because the people that say so, like stuff that's doing this, yo, most like they got two separate accounts and all like this stuff. That's why. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, and it's and but, it's like yeah. like I said, I I get it because it's like you know then like I said, a lot of women. Um, and then don't get me wrong, some women are asking for fifty fifty too, because yeah. they they got some bum dudes but you know me and E talking about real men when real men ask for 50 50 like i said they don't trust you yeah, and, you it's like, and it's like you're it's like okay i'm taking care of you but you're not taking care of me you're not doing your duties but you want me to do mine 
and I don't want to be used. So let's just go 50 50 on everything. And that's, so that's the other thing too. Cause you got a lot of, you got a lot of boys out here asking for the same thing, but they come from another space of insecurities, pain. Yeah. You, you don't know how to grow up or yeah. you're, or you're you, trying to use the cheat. woman or you cheating. <laughs> like you got, you got, now even alone, like you got, you said earlier, like the women got more debt, whatever, but it's, it's also recorded that more women are going to school than dudes. So yeah. most of that yeah. debt is uh, education. Yeah. So I like, so my thing is you got a lot of dudes. Do you need to have that to be successful as far as make money? No, no, not at all. But you got a lot of dudes that are making, like you said, whatever money, whatever. And they're dating women that are making more because they actually went to school. But at the same time, that $70,000 got to get paid off. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, but, it. but, but even in that, that's not well. That's a whole nother topic though about college, and you're not even getting yeah, yeah, the job yeah. anymore. But yeah, yeah but now nah, I definitely, I definitely get what you're saying because it is a lot. That's statistically shown, proven that more women are going back to school, and you know, yeah, they are getting that them student loan debts, and them things take a while to pay they off. Take a while <laughs> to pay off. They, they take a while. So my thing is, if you do get with somebody and you want fifty fifty type of deal. You, you talk about mindsets now. Yeah. You know what I mean? What type of woman you want? Because. But, but I'm saying that, but that's like a, and that's a, yeah, that's a turn off, man. Like, like if, like if I was single and I went out on a date and the woman, first thing her out of her mouth is how much you make, what's your credit score? What can you do for me? Like I'm walking away. No, like, why I, have, yeah. to, like get to we, know me first instead of knowing my financial situation. Okay. Let's go there, yo. <laughs> like there's this, the, the and, and you know me, Chris. Yeah. I, I, I will sit here and try to defend women. You know me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I try right. to give understanding. But there's this demand that women are having. Again, there's a lot of backstory. Some are healthy, some are unhealthy. But there is this demand that women want from men. That's not realistic. And mm-hmm. it's just because of the entitlement of it's beneficial. Yeah. And because I'm a woman, I can demand it. Mm-hmm. And that's not the case. Like just because you are a woman, don't put you in a position to demand. Cause honestly, let's go with character. It is the wife material, honestly, that don't even demand. Her character makes the man what to do. Yeah. Anytime I see a woman that has to put on the man, I'm questioning. Cause I never, like, anytime I saw someone that, like a woman, like you ever seen a, you ever seen a woman try to be sexy versus a woman that is sexy? Yeah. <laughs> Two different things, yo. Right, right. So a real woman honestly pulls that man out of him. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about real woman, real men? Facts. But how many fake or unreal people are out here that are trying to perpetrate to be this real and everybody, this Bro. is who we're talking about. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I said I just, so. I just, I just, I just no, wanted to really, I, which, I wanted what to you it. said. I just told somebody just last week. I said that I said it jokingly, but you know most jokes come from real places. Yeah. I said, um, I said, uh, I told him, I said, you know why most women kind of force men to get married, or they, you know, they they want to hurry up and get married. I said because they can't fake it, but for so. Long. <laughs> They can't fake oh, being nice oh. for so long. I said, that's why when they get married, they turn evil. Cause that's who they really are. I said, oh. I said, when you first date and they all nice and stuff, I said, they, I said, they faking it. That's why they, oh, I just, I just want to get married. I just want to, like, no, you know, you just, you tired of playing this, uh, role. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. I said, that's- and that's why you're in a rush to get married so you can relax. <laughs> like I got what they say. <laughs> What's that thing uh that that sound on Tic Tac? Gotcha, nigga. That's how they be at the altar. Gotcha, nigga. 
So, okay, man, let's go there, yo, because <laughs> at the end of the day, yo, you know, what you switching up for? Like, like yeah. you don't, let's go into you don't work out no more. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You used to be yeah. clean all the time. Like, this like, ain't, oh, I'm going to give you something every night and I'm going to do this. And now you don't feel like doing it in the same third or whatever. Like, yo, hold on, <laughs> Paul. So, so again, let's go back to what you said earlier to that trust factor. Yeah. Now we don't trust each other. Mm -hmm. I can't trust you. So I need you to put, okay, now I need y'all. Okay. Chris, I'm feeling you in this, in this area, man. Cause that, like, look, check this out. If you put that trust issue, that's there. We have a trust issue. Yeah. I need you to kick cause we all not, not we, but in the sense of society, we put money on this pedestal. Yeah. Okay. The value of it and the desire to have, it, right? Mm -hmm. So my thing is, I want you to kick out money because you, you do, you act different. Your kids act different when they pay for something versus when you pay for something. Oh yeah. When I give you a gift, you kind of mistreat it, but when you pay for, for it, you kind of mm -hmm. take care of it. Yep. So I think the subconscious thing is, hey, yo, we need y'all to kick out too, so we can really see which root. Because we, when you really kicking out money, yo, I'm gonna show who I really am because I put money on this. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like yep. if I put money on this, yo, it takes away the desire of, ooh, yeah, they're gonna, all right, yo, Reverend. Like if you, if you kick out money on a woman's behalf. It takes away the desire, not in a bad way, to wanting to be taken care of. Thus, your actress is going to die out. Mm -hmm. Because now, the perpetrating or the acting is to get you to do these things. Show cleavage. Act like you cook all the time. Mm -hmm. This and third, you're sweet all the time. You're so supportive in the beginning. Oh, All yeah. that good stuff, whatever. Oh, so yeah. you're selling something to get this false advertisement. Theory, false advertisement to get this. I want to be taken care of. But if you kick out money, that goes away. Cause when you kicking out money, mm -hmm. I don't have time to be active. I'm going to show you, show you, show you who I really am. Yeah. Thus it kind of takes away the small screen to really see who I'm dealing with. Yep. I agree. Because if it's not, if we going on a date and we both take care of the bill, this after one, again, I like taking care of the bill because of the ego of a man. Territory. Right. I'm claiming, right. you know, caveman. Uh, like, you know, Being whatever. On the chest. Yeah. Being on the chest. But psychologically and technically, if you Go and on a date and y'all go half and half, then you got more room to really see the person and not worry about the stuff. Yeah. And nothing is expected. You're not expected expectations to, are gone. to put out. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't yeah. got to put out. You ain't got to put out. You, when you, when you're kicking out that, uh, so what we doing tonight? Yeah. He can't, he can't, crib. he can't pull that. No, I mean, women, if you want to really use it strategically on your part. Yeah. I'm just going I'm gonna touch this a little bit, but you could kind of like get rid of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, or, or meet him at the place. Don't drive yeah. with him. No, right. That, that knocks all that out. It takes away the actress. It does. Ooh. It does. It does. You go 50 50 on the date, drive there yourself. Now, if you want to do the traditional man to do that, then you're going to have to be the traditional woman for Absolutely. real, not acting it out yeah. for real. And that's, what the, that's, that's my biggest thing. You got to treat people the way you want to be treated. Want to be treated. You want to be treated like a traditional woman. You have to be a traditional woman. You want to be treated like a traditional man. You have to be a traditional man. Like treat people the way you want to be treated. And if they can't treat you that way, then you let them go. They ain't the one. Move on. That Simple is not the that. one. Simple as but that. Every, but they can't give go. you what you need. Move on. Dad, Chris. Yeah. Dad, Chris. Cause my, 
And you hit that one. Cause yeah. my thing is that it's like, like, here go this big need to right. be with somebody. Everybody want to be with somebody so bad. They're willing to do anything just so they don't be lonely no more. Yeah. I don't know how many people are there with somebody and you can tell. Tell them. We're not, and we're not even talking about like marriage. I'm talking about just simply you see people going out and you could tell you're just there just to be there. Mm-hmm. I got little people on a date and I, I'm looking at them like, yo, they on their phones. Don't they want to be there? Looking all around. And granted, I heard women say things like, girl, I'm just going to date so I can get, so I can just get a meal. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. So that's yeah. another reason. Be trust. Yo, you hit, you hit that, yo. Yeah. You hit, you hit that, Chris. I did. And yo, and, and you and, hit that and, one. Yo, and to be real, yo, I, it was very surprising that 90% of the people that liked my comment was women. Damn. When, I, when I put that, when I said it's a trust thing, if a man asks you for 50 50, he don't trust you. He don't. Oh, about ninety percent of women on on that uh, comment that like that comment was women. Yeah, because traditionally, I'm I'm now trying to think what was the, what's the traditional way for a man to know he could trust his, he could trust uh this woman, her not looking at her dudes or uh, I mean like what, what, what before this like I'm I I I'm not even, I don't even know bro like I'm trying to think. Yeah. Like what was the what was the way, or did or men in the past was it an automatic trust because women were already walking a certain way and it was more so of can the woman find her security in him like can she feel secure with him and how women carry themselves it was more so like you automatically knew this woman's going to be good because how things were yeah. maybe back in the day. Yeah, and what'd that, you say? And, and she was able because it, it was it was the traditional sense. Like she had a meal prepared for you, she had your clothes ready for you, she packed your lunch. You know, she maybe rubbed your back or your feet when you got home. Um, you know, she just cared for you. She took care of the bills because remember, a lot of guys was just yeah. ready to check home. The woman made sure the you bills know, all the paid. bills and stuff was paid. Yeah. Food was in the house. Kids were straight. Yeah, um, things like that. Like she made your house a home. And yeah. that's where, and then you felt safe with her. You felt safe to talk to her, tell her about yeah. your day, your problems, what's going on, your dreams and all that. And she didn't make you feel bad about it. Like it's, it's, then, mm. then like, like you said in, in a previous thing, it's about respect. Like men like to be respected. Right. right. We, we, we associate, was there. yeah, we associate respect with love. Mm. You know what I mean? And, the, and, and, the, yeah, and the respect is not there anymore. They're not respecting, mm. like even the the good hardworking men is not being respected because it's a lot of influences going on, especially like with social media and what, and uh you know the whole woman power and the feminism and all that. Oh girl, you ain't got to take this, you ain't got to do this, and it's like that. And me and my wife, you know, we was on the same page the other day. We, she was saying, um, what works in my house may not work in your house. True. You know what I mean? Like, okay, like if I, and I, I made the statement, I said, okay, if I'm not good with money and my wife is, yeah, she should be over the money and she yeah, should make sure money. everything get paid and stuff like that. There's no right. ego in that for me because that's not my strong suit. That's right. hers. You know right. what I mean? So it's not all about what, um, about being so traditional where, oh, I'm the man, I'm the provider. Yeah, I'm providing this stuff, but she's still making my house a home. Mm. She's still respecting me as a man. Mm. And I, I remember, um, seeing a video and I thought it was so, so, um, so touching. Like it, it was so touching for a real man to hear this. The guy said one of the things he knew, he married the girl now, but he said he knew he was going to marry her was they, they was living together and they was, um, they went out with some friends, but he didn't really want to go because he really didn't have no money like that. Cause mm. you know, he was taking care of a lot of other stuff and he was telling like, she was like, Oh babe, I really don't want to go. I ain't got no money like that. You know, like you said, it's a male ego thing with right. real men. Right. And you know, she like persuaded him was like, Oh babe, you know, um, uh, you know, this is my friends. I ain't see for a long time. I really want to go out. So, you know, he said, you know, he went out and he, you know, ain't really want to order nothing. He went, let her order and he got some about to order something cheap mm. and she said he said she leaned over to him and said hey um check your 
check your um your cash app. I cashed app you some money so you can pay for the meal. Come on, bro. Bro, I almost started crying. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know what he, I mean? Like she on, did that bro. for him, and I'm like, I like that. Like in you don't secret, yeah, right? In secret, it wasn't in open. You. It wasn't like, oh, babe, don't worry about it. I know you ain't got it right now, but I got us right now. Yeah, yeah don't don't embarrass him like that. And he still look like yeah. the man. But he, he still did. is the man. He is yeah. the man. And you did but, that. Like, and my wife, my wife did that one time. My wife, she actually did that one time. I gotta give her credit. I gotta give credit what credit is due. But yeah. she gave me, she didn't cash at me now, but she gave me her card. Yeah. And to oh, give it to yeah. the, to, and, yep. and made it seem like I paid. Cause you know, yep. the male ego is fragile, ladies and gentlemen. Well, men, I know y'all know that, but ladies, the male ego is very fragile. So stuff well, like yeah. that with real men. That means something. That means a whole that lot. That means a bro. whole lot. Respect goes up. We got to talk about respect. When, yeah, first thing we want to talk about that respect. respect. When that respect but, is yeah. gone, because people, the thing is, most of these women are complaining about not real men. Right. Like, not what right. we consider real men. Like, it right. is women complaining about real men, but they, you know, they just wrong, whatever. But right. it's, it's you know, you, you can't, can't compare apples and oranges. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. So, right. but we talking about that respect. Cause I'm telling you, I told my wife all the time, like, yo, when you treat me with respect and you treat me right, Ain't like, you can like get it. anything out of me. You get anything done. You take care of my needs physically. Like, Man. you can get anything out of me. I'm going to work yeah. my finger. Like, genuine said, I'm going to work my finger down to the bone. <laughs> 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 That's the key. Yeah. Now, the, the issue is, why is it so hard to get the respect? Because that independent woman mentality. That's what it is. Because no, no, I'm saying it wanting to be independent has nothing to do with respect. You get bro, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know, like, I, I know, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get you to see the way they okay. think. Because today's women are What's the slogan? Uh, have my cake and eat it too. Like they, they, they want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to be the strong, independent woman, but also be taken care of. Like they want to work and keep their money, but have their man pay for it. Like that's where it is. And then it's like when the man can't do it or, you know, like, babe, I can't do. Oh, oh, well, you need to make more money. You need to do this. You need to do that. Like, no, now you're crushing his ego because he can't do it. Like, it's hard for him to do it. Like, like I, I watched a clip of uh, Steve Harvey the other day. The um, lady got up and said, well, you know, Steve, traditionally, the man is supposed to, uh, when he get the engagement ring, it's supposed to be three mo- a three-month salary. And Steve was like, well, who told you that? Like, you know how hard that is? Like, he broke it down in terms right. of it. He was like, you know, if a man making fifty thousand dollars a year, that's like twelve thousand dollars. Like, he yeah. uh, he's not gonna have twelve thousand dollars saved up for no ring. Like, you know how hard that is. But then, and then, like, he was looking at the women. He said, "Why are none of y'all agree with, agreeing with me?" <laughs> so he said, "I said, but it's that mentality. Okay, this is what I need, and that's why I go back to tell you, society and 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 social media is getting into the heads." This is what you need. If he don't do this, then he don't love you. If he don't do this, you need to find somebody else. You need to do this and you need to do this. But it, say, it says all these women, all this percentage of women, I'm going to go as high as saying 90% of, of the women wants that 1% man. They want that so, that that 1% man. Or even, we can go even to the 15% of men that makes th- uh, six figures. Right, right, right. Like 90% of the women can't have 15% of the man. It's not going. I mean, it's, yeah, it don't. It don't even out. It's not. Gonna Some of y'all gonna have to take these. It's not gonna these, have uh, fifty thousand dollar men. Some of y'all gonna have to take these twenty, thirty thousand uh, dollar men. If that's if you want a man. But a but a real woman would take that fifty thousand dollar man. And y'all will build and an build empire. him up to a hundred thousand dollars. No. And that's the other thing. The work behind it. The work. The my. Yo. Oh my God. Yo. Yeah. Some of these women, men, ladies. Let me tell you. Some of these. Thirty thousand dollar a year, fifty thousand dollar a year. Men is just one encouraging woman away from making, from being oh, a millionaire. Man. Hands down, hands down. Because let me y'all give don't y'all, know. 
Y'all, so, hold on, let me say this. Go ahead, go ahead, Y'all go don't know the power of a woman's encouragement. That's, that's, to a exact, man. that's exactly what I was going Yo, go ahead, yo. Y'all do not say. know ahead, the power of the encouragement of a woman. Let me tell you something. Yo. Especially a black woman. Y'all can make a, excuse my language. Y'all can make a nigga want to fly. <laughs> Real talk. And some of these men don't know their potential until they get with a woman. Babe, you can do anything. Babe, I believe in you. Babe, let's sit down and work on this plan. Babe, what is your dream? Babe, let's work on your dreams. And that's not the, that's not, um, despising your dreams or getting away from your dreams. All right, let's work on this so you can work on this or let's do this so you can do this. Like teamwork now, makes the dream work, baby. And that, and, and then we're not talking about you taking someone that's depressed and low. We're just talking about yeah. an average cat. We're talking about average dude, cat. We're not talking. Yeah. We're not talking about no, no broken this. down man. Somebody nah. that need to work on themselves before they even nope. think about being with somebody. We're talking, we're talking about, about a real man, a, a real dude, a real dude that when he hear you say like, baby, you can do it. Man, that makes him feel like listen. He on cocaine, yo. Like what? <laughs> that's that's true. That's real talk. And yeah. that's I we give you props, women. The simple fact that that's the gift God gave you, yo. Y'all, y'all can take help me, yo, and multiply anything, God, yo. God made y'all to be helpmates. That ain't that ain't about being nobody's slave. That's not a. Yeah, that's not a. The worst, the worst submissive in the Bible is not you being my slave. No, it's not. You just hanging around. Hand, on hand and foot. No, that's not what that means. Shoot, man. The neck is powerful to the head. The, the neck I'm is powerful. You, I'm Yo. telling you. If you ain't encouraged, you listen to this, you ain't encourage your man in a while. Go encourage him. Go encourage that guy. Don't just Yo. give him a hug and rub his Say, back. Something. I'm telling you, it goes a long way. And if, you, tell married, you, if you married, go and give him a little something, too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Go and give him a little something. Make him happy. Initiate it. <laughs> it. Initiate it. Initiate it. You know what I'm saying? Make him a bag. I bet you'll turn around and make you 10 bags. Yeah. You, you get I, one I man you, a bag. I bet you get that new washer and dryer. Yo, that's, <laughs> that's how I work though. Cause I, what can you want to do work. for you? So let me let y'all know something for those that are a believer, Santa or whatever. And this helped me or this submissive thing, Santa or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Like at the end of the day, yo, Holy Spirit is power. And they, and the Holy Amen. Spirit is called to help. Amen. That don't mean he's less than anything. Matter nope. of fact, Jesus could not do his ministry without the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Women, you really are a physical symbol of the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let's not go into that. I'm really going on that. Amen. So I want to, I want y'all to understand. It's more so like, yo, ain't nothing wrong with desires and things of that nature but don't get fooled mm-hmm. by thinking the way to do it is not being a woman yeah. part of your being a woman everything about you is about support your breast is soft like even if it's based upon you feeding the kid it's also nurturing but if a man can lay his head on your chest yo you know how that feel yeah your body is soft for a reason. Even those that do work out, they feels still like, have a feminine feels like body. home. It feel like home. Feels like home. Ain't nothing like it, yo. So nothing like it. We're telling you everything about you. But it's not a complaint of we could do this without you. Man, do you know how much more we can do if everybody just get in line? Yep. Everybody <laughs> play their role. Play your role. Play your role. Play your role. Yeah. And we'll have a segment about these other weak men out here too. Don't get me wrong. Y'all ain't getting away. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We're going to get into that, but now we just talking about but right real now. We're just talking about real, real woman because we need to build that back up, man. We need and to build a real back man relationships and, and get it to mind being. I mean, we know it's a lot of temptation out here. We do. We know. And it's, right. people can be easily distracted and, right. and that's the whole agenda of why it's being done. The devil right. comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And right. He's using every tool he can to make that happen. And it's happening. It's destroying relationships, destroying marriages, destroying Bro. business relationships, you know, destroying homes. Like, you know, it's, it's a lot going on. And we just, we just trying to get back to that, man. Get back to, to what God 
designed it to be. Bro. Point blank. Uh, period. Point blank. Yep. That was good. So that's our show, y'all. I hope, I, hope, I, hope, I hope y'all heard our hearts. Yeah. And in a perspective. And if we're talking about a certain type of woman, if it ain't you, we're not talking about you. Right. So if you felt something, come on. Man, woman up. Take it, take it, take it. Just just fix it. Hear it out. Evaluate. Yep. Let's go. You know what I mean? Yep. We're here to help. We're here to help. All right, y'all. The street lights are on. Mama's yes. calling us home. She's calling us, man. We're going to yeah. get out of here, man. We thank y'all for tuning in to another Probably episode a, of the Mama's Boys Podcast, Podcast with Chris and E. Yes, sir. Peace All right, out. y'all. We see y'all uh next week with a brand new episode. I put a piece out of letting see it. I thought you were a piece of me. Nah, that was a tilted show. <laughs> All right, y'all. We see y'all later. Peace.